Hello my bunnies, it's Tiki Strinkets here and today I have for y'all another polymer clay tutorial. Today we are going to be making Fozzie from the Muppets. This was again another request by somebody here on my YouTube channel. I will put their name right here. Then after this I will be doing another request of another My Singing Monster sculpture tutorial. I don't know which monster I'm going to pick yet but you will got you guys will see it on my YouTube channel. I'll put a little update saying what's coming next week. I'm sorry about the brightness keeps fading in and out. I have my torch light on because it's currently 10.04 p.m. And it's Friday night. And usually this is when I'm uploading my video is Friday night. So this video will probably actually be uploaded at like 12 or 1 a.m. And I have work tomorrow. Woohoo! <laughs> We're going to have fun tonight. I still have to finish editing the video before I'm never usually done editing before I record this because that way I can put it all in Movie Maker and edit it while I'm going. But it's fine. I'm fine. Also, I just wanted to mention real quick that I'm not going to be taking any more requests for a little while. Just a little while. You see that? Just, just a little bit. Because I want to do a few personal projects I wanted to do. Um, well, get around to. I want to do a few My Hero Academia tutorials because I'm really into that anime right now. I just found out about it this past year. And it would have been great if the next season would have started in April like it had been every other year before I watched it. But they changed it to October. Probably because they were working on the second movie, but it's fine. Again, though, I'm just going to stop doing requests for just a little while again. Just so I can do a few things that I want to do, like, in the meantime, a few personal projects like that. Also, I want to do a few of my own original creations. I haven't been able to do much in a while, but what little bit I've gotten around to, I've just been really happy doing. It's just, you know, that's part of art. You want to do your own original art, too. And I hope I don't make anybody upset, but still feel free to leave me requests down below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. But the next video will be My Singing Monsters, and then the one after that will probably be something original art, or My Hero Academia, or something else in between. There's a few things that's been bubbling inside my head, I just haven't gotten it to, gotten to it yet. <laughs> I don't want to talk forever, because I know you guys aren't here for me, you're here for the art. So I'm just going to hold up all of these little bad boys, all three of the Muppet characters that I've done right here. And by far, Fozzie did come out the best, in my opinion. He looks most accurate to the actual show. Kermit's my second favorite. And Miss Piggy is my least favorite, but most people actually liked her as their favorite. But, you know, everybody's different. And I'm an artist. I look at things more critiquingly when it comes to style and things like that. And again, at the end of this video, you will see him twirling on a base, so you can see him a whole lot better than you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, you can still leave me requests down below, and I'll get to them when I can. And I love you guys so, so, so much. I always appreciate you guys watching, and I hope by the end of this year, we can get to 200 subscribers. So, spread the word of my channel <laughs> if you enjoy my content. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's get into the video. See you there! For this tutorial, you'll need the following colors. I used hazelnut, chocolate, white, and pink. First, we're going to start with the hazelnut. This was as close as I could get to his fur color, so I thought it would do the job. And I pre-rolled all the balls I would need. And we're going to start with the largest one in the center, right here. This is going to be his body piece. So what you want to do is do what we usually do, roll it into a very fat teardrop shape. <laughs> then you're going to want to take this and press it against your work surface so it'll be flat on the bottom, but still stay pointed on the top. Then just tip it over and cut the tippy top off so it will be nice and flat on the top and flat on the bottom as well. Then we're going to go on to this next piece. This is going to be his head. So you're going to roll it back and forth between your index and thumb, making it into an egg-like shape. Then after that, put it in the palm of your hand, kind of cup it like a rounded shape, and use your opposite hand to press down for the indentation where the eyes are, like this. That way it'll stay round in the back and it won't be flat like if you set it down on your work surface. Then I put a toothpick in it for stability. And then I just put the head on and I put it kind of tilted to the side because a lot of the pictures I saw online, his head was kind of tilted to the side, so I wanted to give it a cute little effect. 
Then I use my dotting tool to indent the eye sockets. Then I use my X-Acto blade to cut out the shape of the mouth. <coughs> Excuse me. Then using the X-Acto blade, I just took out the rest of the mouthpiece that I didn't need. Just kind of hollowed it out like a pumpkin. Next, we're going to move on to his ears, which obviously is these balls right here. Just take your little dotting tool and just press in the center of the balls until they become indented just like this. And then just cut the bottoms off so that they'll be flat on the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. Then where the ears are flat, just stick it to the head. You can go ahead and glue that too for more security. Then we're going to move on to his legs. So we're going to use these two balls at the bottom here and roll these into two inch long teardrop shapes. That's just the size that I went with in this video, just to be more exact. Then I just pinched it to make it into this like foot shape. I'll show you how I pinched it in this picture right here. Just using my index and thumb, just kind of smooshed it up against it. And I did this with both of the legs and when I got done, it looked like this. Then after that, so it would sit flat on the body, I took my X-Acto blade and cut the tops off of the bias. As you can see right here, cut one off towards the right, one off towards the left. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I just stuck the legs on the body, and I did blend them into the body, but I didn't take a picture, but just smooth them out if you want to. If not, just leave them as is. Next, I made sure that it was fit on the base that I was using so that the legs wouldn't hang off too much. And it looked about right to me, so I kept it as is. Next, I'm going on to the arms, which I rolled out two inch long teardrop shapes, just like the legs. Then I pressed these down flat with my index fingers. I pressed it down from the top of the little teardrops all the way down to the bottom to make it all flat. Then I cut off the tops of the bias, just like I did with the legs. And then you can just decide what pose you want the hands in. I made one kind of like near his cheek or his mouth and the other one kind of waving. I didn't want to do the same pose as Kermit, so I wanted something a little bit different. Excuse me. Then I put a metal flower kind of wire inside the arm for stability and I removed the arms for now just so I could work with the stuff more easily. Next we're going to go on to the chocolate colored clay and you can go ahead and pre-roll all the balls you need for this and that would be all these right here. First we're going to start with the ball that's on the bottom closest towards like the front of the mat, this one right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to need to flatten it out. I always use the back of my X-Acto blade to just flatten it out. It's pretty easy and it makes it kind of consistent looking. Or you can just roll it out with the X-Acto blade, kind of like a rolling pin. But it's up to you. <laughs> then I just stuck the top of the hat on. Next, I'm going to make the top of the hat. So I'm going to take this ball right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Again. And I just rolled it into this egg-like shape. And then I just wanted to make it like round on top, flat on the bottom, so I just cut it off to where it's like 25% small, 75% big. We're going to use the 75% side, the bigger half, and just stick it on the top of the hat, just like so. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, we're going to use these last two small chocolate color balls. Roll these in the very, very teeny tiny pointed teardrop shapes. And these are going to be his eyebrows, so just bend them, kind of like arch them, and just stick them on his face where the eyebrows would go. Pretty easy. Next, we're going to go on to this pink color clay, which I don't know the name of it. It's not ballerina. It's not candy apple. I don't know the name of it, but it's like a rose kind of pink. So just look for like a very light rosy pink. And all you need is one ball for the nose. And then I just cut it off flat on the back so it would sit flat on the face. And then I just stuck it on the face. Voila. Then I took my Loctite glue and glued on the hat, the nose, the arms. You don't have to glue the arms in yet. You can leave the arms unglued for now just to work with it, but it's up to you. Or you can just go ahead and glue them if you want to make it easy. Next we're going on to the white color clay. Pre-roll all the balls you need, which are those four. The two small ones, just put it into the eye sockets. Those would be his eyes. Next, I'm going to make his little bow tie thing. So the big ball in the back, I'm just going to roll it into a very long snake-like shape, like so. <coughs> Excuse me again. And then just roll this out nice and flat. 
And then to make it very consistent, I took my long blade and cut off the sides and the top and the bottom, just like this. And then I just, see, it would be easier not to attach the arms yet, because you can just, like, remove the arms for this part. I kind of had to feed it through the arms. <laughs> so I hope you guys didn't have the same problem I did. <laughs> Next, we're going to make the front part of the bow. So we're going to do the same thing with this ball of clay. Roll it into a long snake shape. Roll it out nice and flat. <clears throat> then, using your long blade, cut the sides and the tops off, just like I did before. And then I just kind of bent it over itself, just like this, and just stuck it on top of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. His bow's, like, really messy anyways. Next, I just took this tool that comes with a set I got from Hobby Lobby, or you can just use any kind of pointed tool, and just poke him over and over to give him this fur-like texture. Pretty easy, right? And it just creates the cutest effect. While the sculpture is baking, you can go ahead and paint the base of whatever color you like. I just chose red because I was thinking, you know, he has pink on his tie, pink nose. For some reason, it just made me think of red. Next, you're going to need the following paint colors. Purple, pink, some kind of like light red color, and black. Or like a maroon color. And then I used my dotting tools that are nail art tools. I took one of the dotting tools and dotted on two pupils for the eyes. Then I used the maroon color to paint the inside of his mouth, the top part and the bottom part, so it's consistent. Next, you're going to take the purple paint and you're going to paint on his eyelids. I do pre-draw the eyelids on with pencil. I didn't show that, but it just makes it easier. Then just take the smallest dotting tool you can and paint on the eyelids. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have bad allergies tonight. Next, after this is dry, you're going to paint on the little line that's on his eyelids. If you Google a picture, you'll see what I mean. And I did clean this paint off some too later on his eyebrows. Then, last but not least, I took the pink paint and I dotted on the polka dots on his tie. And I also painted on his tongue. And then after that, after that's dried, you can get E6000 and glue him to the wooden base. Or, if you choose to, you don't have to put him on the base. I just like that it's sturdier this way. After that, you're done. Then I just use polycoilic floor varnish to glaze them with two coats, and you're done. Thank you guys for watching.